Leaks have surfaced revealing a brand new and far more ambitious DJI drone, reportedly called the DJI Avatar 360. The timing of these leaks is interesting, as they appeared just as users were beginning to fully explore the capabilities of DJI's Neo 2. Almost immediately, early images began circulating online, sparking confusion across the drone community. Many initially believed the photos showed a prototype of an Avatar 3. In reality, those images were capturing something entirely new, the DJI Avatar 360 operating in its FPV mode. What makes the Avatar 360 stand out is its radical hybrid design. For the first time, DJI appears to be combining a full 360-degree camera system with a switchable FPV drone, all in a single platform. This move represents a natural evolution for DJI, following its success in both 360 cameras and FPV drones. Instead of treating these as separate product categories, DJI is merging them into one machine that can seamlessly switch between immersive cinematic filming and high-speed FPV flight. At the core of this innovation is a rotating gimbal system. In 360-degree mode, the drone uses two lenses pointing upward and downward to capture the entire environment around it. This setup allows for the popular invisible drone effect, where the aircraft itself disappears from the shot. When switching to FPV mode, the gimbal rotates and cleverly hides the bottom lens, exposing a forward-facing lens optimized for fast, agile, and dynamic flight. This dual-mode functionality effectively creates a new hybrid category that blends FPV thrills with 360-degree storytelling. From an imaging perspective, the Avatar 360 looks especially powerful. Each lens reportedly offers a 180-degree field of view and captures video at 4K resolution per lens. Using AI-powered stitching, the drone can generate 8K 360-degree video, significantly reducing the need for heavy post-processing. For FPV pilots, the drone supports 5K video at up to 60 frames per second, ensuring smooth and detailed footage during aggressive maneuvers. Still photography is equally impressive, with 30 megapixel standard photos and 360 degree panoramic images reaching up to 120 megapixels. In terms of storage and performance, DJI seems to be aiming high. The Avatar 360 is said to include 128 gigabytes of internal storage, along with support for micro SD cards for extended recording. It uses DJI's O4 Plus transmission system, offering a transmission range of up to 20 kilometers under optimal conditions. Estimated flight time is around 25 minutes, which is notable considering the complexity of the camera system and onboard sensors. Safety and sensing are also major focuses. In FPV mode, the drone reportedly includes front LiDAR, rear optical sensors, and bottom infrared sensors to assist with obstacle awareness. In 360-degree mode, the camera lenses themselves may act as an omnidirectional sensing system, providing environmental awareness in all directions. Advanced subject tracking, inspired by systems seen in the DJI Mini 5 and Neo 2, allows the drone to maintain smooth framing even during high-speed flight. DJI is also expected to offer multiple bundle options. Basic kits will likely target general content creators, while FPV-focused bundles may include motion controllers, goggles, and extra batteries. For those who want full manual FPV control, the FPV Controller 3 will be required and sold separately. Despite its impressive capabilities, the Avatar 360 will not be a plug-and-play drone for everyone. Editing 360-degree footage demands powerful hardware and solid software knowledge, while FPV flying requires practice and experience. However, for skilled users, the creative potential is enormous. From a design and engineering standpoint, the drone emphasizes protection and balance. The gimbal protects the bottom lens during FPV flight, while optimized materials and weight distribution help maintain stability and responsiveness despite the advanced hardware. Overall, the DJI Avatar 360 appears to blend AI imaging, advanced tracking, and true dual-mode flight into a single platform. By bridging professional filmmaking and FPV performance, it opens the door to cinematic panoramas, extreme sports filming, and immersive VR content. 
If these leaks are accurate, the Avatar 360 sets a new benchmark in drone technology and promises unprecedented creative freedom in aerial storytelling. <clears throat> Today we will talk about some bad news and public confusion about DJI Pocket 4. Let's talk about bad news. The DJI Pocket 4 launch has reportedly been delayed. Although the new vlogging camera was widely expected to debut globally before the end of the year, quality control issues with accessories have pushed the release back. The Pocket 4, long rumored and already referenced by name in an FCC filing that revealed a 20% battery upgrade over the Pocket 3, still hasn't been officially announced by DJI. Multiple leaks throughout the year suggested the successor to the Osmo Pocket 3 was imminent, and many hoped it would arrive in 2025, partly due to concerns around a potential US DJI ban. However, sources like Photorabs now indicate that while the core camera hardware may be ready, accessory production delays have shifted the target launch to January 2026. And the confusion part is, the DJI Osmo Pocket 4 rumor mill intensified dramatically after two leaked photos surfaced shortly following Igor's now viral clip. These images showed what appeared to be two separate prototype camera bodies mounted on a testing rig, instantly sparking debate and confusion across the tech community. At first glance, the setup looked unusual, far from what most people associate with the familiar pocket-sized form factor. One popular theory suggests that DJI is testing two different Pocket 4 prototypes side by side. Another explanation is more technical. DJI may be mounting different lens weights on the gimbal to evaluate balance, motor strength, and long-term stability. There's also a third widely discussed idea, that this is actually the final Pocket 4 camera head, deliberately wrapped in tape and covered with test labels to hide its true design and specifications. As expected, social media reactions were chaotic and divided. Many users claimed the device doesn't even look like a pocket camera anymore. Some argued that the unit appears too large and bulky compared to previous generations. A growing number of fans believe DJI may be intentionally allowing these leaks to fuel speculation and build hype ahead of the official launch. However, a closer inspection of the leaked images reveals some important clues. The gimbal motors appear noticeably larger than those on the Pocket 3, and the arm design looks stronger and more reinforced, suggesting it's built to handle a heavier payload. Even more interesting, the camera block sits further forward, a common design choice when supporting heavier or more complex lens modules. This strongly supports the idea that DJI is testing real camera units rather than dummy placeholders. Leaks also point toward updated image processing, 6K video recording at 60 frames per second, a possible variable aperture sensor, f/2 to f/4, and even full 360-degree panning. Taken together, all signs suggest that the DJI Osmo Pocket 4 is shaping up to be the most advanced handheld camera DJI has ever made. And these confusing leaks may be just the beginning of a much bigger reveal.